Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to our video. Today, we're going to discuss another topic in pre-calculus, and that topic is equations, equations of of lines, equations of lines. Previously, in the last video, we have discussed the x and y intercepts and the graphs of equations with two variables. Now, we will be discussing the equations of lines in general. Napapansin nyo, wala, walang ibang nakasulat ngayon because we will be writing today. Lahat isusulat natin. Ngayon, let's start off with Roman numeral number 1. The? Isa sa mga equation ng lines na tinutukoy ko. Ano yung mga yun? The point, the point slope, the point slope form, Ito yung una, of the equation, equation of the line. Yan yung pinakauna natin. Or, PSF. Pag nakita nyo yung PSF, in the next videos, ang tinutukoy ko is the point slope form. Bakit PSF? Point slope form. Tama? Ngayon. Magpapalit tayo ng kulay. Gusto ko mag-change ng color. Now, let's... Ngayon, ano kailangan dito? As the name suggests, kailangan natin ng point. Point on the line. On the line. Anong pwede natin yung pangalan doon? Iyan na natin. I ganyan natin. Point on the line. Na let's say pangalanan natin or itago natin sa pangalan ito, um, x1, y1, and the slope, the slope m. Ayan, yan yung kailangan natin. Di ba kasi point slope form ng equation of a line? Ibig sabihin, we need a point and we need a slope. Ayan, change tayo ng color. Magiging colorful to. Ire-recall muna natin. Recall natin for the sake of this video. Naalala nyo, di ba, may given point tayo. Let's say, ito may point tayo. Di ba, sabi ko dati, meron chances na maraming points ang dadaan dyan. Ay, maraming points. Maraming lines. Maraming lines dadaan dyan. Nakikita nyo? May mga instances na maraming lines ang pwede dumaan dyan sa point M na yan. Kaya kailangan natin ng isang bagay para ma-differentiate Lahat ng mga lines na yan. And what is that? That's what we call the slope. Yun yung nag-differentiate na nagsasabi ng kung ano ang specific na line na yan. Halimbawa, itong line na to, may, may slope na M1. Itong line na to, may slope na M2. Itong line na to, may slope na M3. Itong line na to, may slope na M4. And yun lang. ba? Bawat isang line na present dyan, may tigi isa silang unique na slope. Ngayon, paano ba natin ginagawa yan? So, ganito. Let's say, let's say meron tayong line. Ito, di ba? May line tayo. This is the point, um, let's say, x1, comma, y1. And this is the x2, comma, y2. Tama? Ngayon, kukunin natin yung slope na yan. Paano yung kinocompute yung slope? Di ba, given this line, meron dalawang points. And we can compute the slope actually by the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Yan ay isang magandang recall. Ngayon, i-zoom out natin and let's return to color green. Na-recall na natin kung anong slope, di ba? Given two points and we have a line, we can actually compute the slope na y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Commonly, nakakalimutan to provided, provided that x2 is not equal to x1. Para hindi maging zero in denominator. Kasi pag naging zero in denominator, undefined yan. Ngayon, let let L ngayon, let L be a line be a line um, with slope with slope M that passes that passes um, through a point. Ano ang gusto kong pangalan, pangalan na point? Ito nga, x1, y1. Kaya ngayon yung nalagay ko sa needed eh. The point x1, 
comma y1. Diba? Also, let um, let x comma y x comma y be any other point on the line. Bakit ako nagpangalan na isa pang point na ano, x comma y? Kasi nga, sabi ko, we, are, we have to have two points in order to determine a unique line. Ito, na yung, ito yung point na isa, ito yung isang point pa. Tama? Tanggalin ko yung underline kasi mawawala yung paragraph ko. Ayun. Um, I hope that you can follow this. Susunod. Ibig sabihin, di ba, we have another point, we have another point, then we can actually compute the slope. Ngayon, i-drawing muna natin siya before anything else. Ngayon, i-drawing natin siya. Let's change the color to blue. Kasi kapag nag-drawing tayo ng Cartesian plane, ganito. Okay? Let's have this one. And let's, let's have this one. Ayan. Ngayon, this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Ngayon, pag change tayo ng color na red para makapag-ano tayo, makapag-drawing tayo ng line. Ito yan. And let's change to color black. This is the, this is the point uh, x, comma, 1, comma, y, comma, 1. Ito yung point na x, comma, y. Tama? And we have, this is the line L, this is with slope M. Ito yung x1, ito yung x, ito yung y1, ito yung y. Bakit ko nilalagyan ng ganyan na label? Kasi para matrace nyo, let's have letters. Ito, ito, itong point na ito. Tama? Tapos, itong ito, ito, yung point na yan. Okay? Para lang magkaroon ng tracing. Ayun, tanggalin natin yung mga yellows na yan kasi it's not necessary. Balik tayo sa color green. Okay? Ngayon, meron tayong dalawang points. Then, then, x comma y satisfies satisfies ito. Meron tayong x1 comma y1. Ito meron tayong x comma y. Ngayon, paano natin magagawa yan? Ibig sabihin, it satisfies the slope formula. We can actually find the slope. So, m is equal to y2y minus y1. y2 minus y1. Di ba, subscripts lang naman yan. Wala magbabago eh. y minus y1 over x2 minus x1. x1 x minus x1. x minus x1. Kasi di ba, kung nalilito kayo, ang slope lang naman is yung pangalawa minus yung una. y minus y1. Pangalawa minus yung una. x minus x1. Ganun lang yun. Ngayon, Given na natin ito, m is equal to y minus y1 over x minus x1. So we can actually multiply both sides by x minus x1. Kaya magiging m multiplied by x minus x1 o equals y minus y1. Tapos ang mangyayari, magiging y minus y1 over m times x minus x1. Ano, ano mga mapansin nyo? We have actually get we have actually obtained the point slope formula. And what is it? This is the formula. Isulat natin into color blue. Kasi this is a, this is a milestone. This is the point, point slope form. And in point slope form, let's change the color to, let's say, um, green again. So ito na yun y minus y1 is equal to m multiplied by x minus x1. Ano requirement? Requirement ay point, point na x1 comma y1 and a slope m. Yan ang requirement sa point slope form. Kaya nga point slope form. Point and a slope. Okay? So, that's the first one. Ayan, i-anin ko para you can actually screenshot it. Ayan. Ngayon, next. On to the next one. Meron pa tayo eh. Bale, na-discuss na natin paano na-derive yung PSF, point slope form. Now, let's derive the other two. Ngayon, let's go to this section. 
Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, now let's change the color to blue. Ayon, meron tayong tinatawag na slope, slope intercept, slope intercept form, form of the equation, equation of the line. The slope intercept form of the equation of the line S I F. The slope intercept form. Ayon. Let's go back to green kasi yun yung paragraph natin. Eh. Suppose, suppose a line L, line L has has um, slope M, slope M and Let's say meron tayong given na isa pa B hindi ano. Ayun. B B it's it's y intercept. Ibig sabihin given na yung y intercept niya. 'Di ba? Ibig sabihin meron tayong given. Meron linya na M yung slope niya and yung B yung y intercept niya. Ano ibig sabihin noon? Bakit nga ba tayo pwede maglet? Kasi 'di ba, a line contains points. Dine-define ko yung isa sa mga points na meron yung line na yon as B and yun yung y-intercept. Ano masabi natin kung si B ay y-intercept ng line na yon? Hence, hence, ano? 0, B. Di ba sabi, kapag y-intercept, it is 0, Y. Eh, sino ba yung Y? B, di ba? Kaya 0, B is on L. Di ba? Isa pa, let x, Y B any other other point on the line on the line What do I mean by this? If it's being we are given a point and a slope M. Diba? We have we have a point a point 0 comma B and a slope a slope M. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, we can actually, we can use the point slope formula. We can actually use point slope formula or the PSF. We can actually use PSF. Paano? Ayun, let's draw first. Ayun, let's say we have color blue. Ayun. Let's draw this. Ito yung Cartesian plane natin. Ito yung Cartesian plane. This is X. This is Y. Tama? Ayun. Let's change to color red. Let's change to color red. Ito. Ayan. Ayan. Ayun. Let's have... And let's change to color black. Ayun. Nag-intersect siya. Kaya di ba may ano? Di ba nasa y-intercept siya? So, nag-intersect siya sa y-axis. So, this is B. Or this is the point 0, comma, B. And sabi ko, di ba? Let X, comma, Y be any other point on the line. Ito yun, no? So, ibig sabihin, let's have another point, which is P, X, comma, Y. We have a slope M, tapos ito yung line L. Tama? Ngayon. Let's have the color green. We can use the point slope formula. So, ano yung points na given natin? 0, comma, B and X, comma, Y. Then, we can actually use the slope formula M, um, Y minus B, y mi yung pangalawa minus yung una over yung una minus, eh, yung pangalawa minus yung una. Kaya X minus 0. Or, Y minus B all over X. Ayun, M is equal to Y minus B all over X. Tama? Ngayon, multiply both sides by X. Magiging MX is equal to Y minus B. So, balik tayo natin. Y minus B is equal to MX. Nakikita nyo na feeling ko eh. Add B to both sides. Lipat. Magiging Y is equal to MX plus B. Diba? Napapansin nyo, that is the, naalala nyo na high school, is the 
slope intercept form. Tama? So, let's change to color blue. Let's change to color blue. This is the slope. Slope intercept. Intercept form. Or the y equals mx plus b form. Kung naalala nyo yun, di ba? Naalala nyo yung feeling ko eh. Y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. Ano requirement? Ano requirement para magamit ang slope intercept form? Yung y intercept. Y intercept. Paano malalaman kapag may y intercept ko? Kapag 0, b. Yung y intercept mo, b. Tapos a slope m. Slope m. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, um, we have the first two. We have the point slope form and the slope intercept form. Tama ba? So, meron pa bang pangatlo, sir? Meron pa. Ayun, iyanin natin to para mas screenshot if you want to, ano? Yan. Okay. And let's proceed to the next section. And this is the last of the three. It's three out of three. Let's change the color blue. Ayon. I zoom in a little bit. Number three. The the two point the two point form the two point form of a line. The two point form or. Kaya may mga acronyms pa rin tayo dyan, Yung TPF. Ayon. TPF. Ayon. Let's change to color green. Na two point form. Ayon. Recall. Magre recall tayo. Um, it is sufficient. It is sufficient. Um, to have. It is sufficient to have two points. Two points on the line. Ibig sabihin, mahalaga talaga na may two points ka sa line. To compute, anong dahilan? To compute, to compute for the slope. The slope of the said line. The said line. Ibig sabihin, mahalaga na kailangan talaga may two points para ma-determine mo yung, yung slope ng line mo. Ngayon, given, given that Given that line L, line L, um, such that, well, given that, given A, I'm sorry for the grammar, kasi diba, napapansin nyo sa math, anong di magaling sa, <laughs> we are using English, diba? Given a line L, such that um, x1, comma y1, and x2, comma y2, is on L. Di ba sabi ko nga, it is sufficient to have two points. Ibig sabihin, nagpapangalan tayo. Itago natin sa pangalan x1, y1, x2, y2. <clears throat> then, the slope, the slope of L, of line L, line L is, paano? x1, y1, x2, y2. Ano yung slope niya? M is equal to yung pangalawa minus yung una. Y2 minus Y1 over pangalawa minus una. X2 minus X1. Tama? Ngayon. Ano bang dahilan? Bakit ko ito nire-recall? Kasi, sir, paulit-ulit na tayo. Alam ko na yung slope na yan. Bakit? Ngayon, recall. Recall ulit natin. Alam ko kakadiscuss lang natin the PSF. The point slope form. Ano yung point slope form? Y minus Y1 is equal to M times X minus X1. Kasi meron tayong point na X1, Y1, tapos M na slope, di ba? Ngayon, replace. Ang gusto ko mangyari, replace. Replace M of the point slope formula. Sino yun? Ito. Papalitan ko yung m na ito. Papalitan ko yung m na to by yung nakuha natin na m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Papalitan ko daw. Eh, ano mangyayari kapag pinalitan? Therefore, 
yung points law formula magiging y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 multiplied by x minus x1. Diba? Parang nilagyan ko lang ng specific na, na formula na yung slope. Kung baga, hindi natin alam automatically yung slope kasi napapansin nyo, kanina binibigay na lang natin yung slope. Eh. This time, we are actually obliged to compute the slope. Diba? Napapansin nyo? Ngayon, anong tawag dyan? As the name suggests, this is what we call the two, the two-point form. The two-point form. And what is the two-point form? Let's write it again for practice. This is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 multiplied by x minus x1. Ano requirement? Requirement nito, requirement nito is two points. Ano yung two points? x1, y1, and x2, y2. Dito kasi sa two-point form, you are obliged to compute the slope automatically para magamit siya. So ngayon, i-zoom out natin. So, di ba napansin nyo, we have discussed three equations of the line. So, recall natin yung point slope formula. The point slope formula, ito yun. The, the slope intercept form, ito yun. And lastly, the two-point form, which is ito yun. Now, I hope you learned something today. I hope that you appreciated how we derive the formulas of the, the slope intercept form, the, the, the point slope formula, and the two-point form. In the next videos, we will, be, we will be discussing the examples of how to use such formulas and we will be formally defining it in a definition. And until then, mathematicians, keep safe and have a great day. Good night, mathematicians.